this is your national anthem, okay? I guess it was back in 63 when even my cooking got the better of me. And I asked this little girl I was going with to be my wife. She said she would. So I said I do. But I said I wouldn't. I just knew how saying I do was going to screw up all of my life. Now the first few years weren't all that bad. I'll never forget all the good times we had. Of course, I'm reminded every month when I send her the child support. And it wasn't very long to me. That's all that. Now, I wasn't too surprised to come home and see my suitcase sitting on the porch. Well, I tried to get in, and she changed the lock. I seen this note on the mailbox that said, So long, turkey. My attorney will be in touch. Well, I decided right then and there I was going to be a nice guy and give her her fair share. Mr. Norshell was going to be quiet that much. Well, she went to go and say, I'm not a shy. They said, They're drifting it all down the middle. But she got the better hand. That all sounds kind of funny, but it hurts too much to bear. She got the gold and I got the share. Now let's see more. They ain't heard nothing yet. They give her the color television set. Then they give her the house and the kids and bones with the car. Next, they start talking about child support and alimony. And the cost of the court didn't take me long to see how far he taught it. I really was. And I'm telling you that they have made a mistake because it adds up to more than I made and everything I got worth having, they have already took. Well, she ain't looking like a queen on alimony. I'm working two jobs eating baloney, asking myself, why did you just learn how to cook? Well, she got the gold mine. I got the shag. I got the shag. They said they were splitting it all down the middle. But she got the better hand. That all sounds kind of funny. But it hurts too much to bear. She got the gold on mine, and I got the share. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, uh, wait a minute. Listen, I want you to know that that's your side of the table. We girls know there's another side to this story, right? And I'm going to tell my tale. Okay, Mr. Lyle, I got the house with floorboards creak and a porch that sags and where the beams are weak and a roof that leaks like a faucet when it rains. You got to go. 